my wife and I were walking in the mall. She's like, no, you, you, you definitely like deserve it. You've been playing great. He needs about 10 more. <laughs> Cause he got like 10 player of the week. <laughs> <laughs> hey GQ, I'm Jeremy. I'm Joe. And, and these, these are our 10, 10 essentials. essentials. My first item is my study Bible. I bring it on the road, you know, have, have time in the hotel, especially during the season, just to be able to read, read the Bible and kind of you know, meditate on some of the scriptures. Ephesians 2.10, the reason why that helps me a lot on the court is because a lot of times I'll stress. I'll stress about how I'm playing, I'll stress about the result. But that verse talks about how everything has been planned according to God's perfect plan. And so it allows me to remember like, hey, if we're supposed to win, we're gonna win. And so it can allow me just to enjoy the game more and surrender the result. So one of my essentials is my computer, primarily for gaming. I'm a big gamer and I need games with me wherever I go. Why would you choose Mac over PC? I just couldn't bring a PC here. <laughs> Definitely PC though. <laughs> and he's also the best gamer in our family, by far. The greatest character, Itachi. Naruto, I mean, it's something that me and both my brothers just really love. I think it's our favorite anime. I think there's just so many things that you can learn in that show. There's a lot of lessons you can learn and the character development is top notch. I'm not very much like Itachi. <laughs> <laughs> Him and my older brother's favorite characters are Itachi. They both like Itachi the most and then mine is Naruto. But really, I mean, the story is all about loyalty, family, you know, what it means to live for each other. And so the story resonates with us because we're, you know, three brothers who are very, very close with each other. Um, so Itachi is the essential brother figure in the entire show. Um, so it really resonates. So going off the theme of Naruto, I have a hard time treating myself to nice things and celebrating my own accomplishments. I don't remember exactly which one, but it was after one of the like earlier player of the weeks or something like that. Um, my wife and I were walking in the mall and she knew that I like really liked it. She's like, no, you, you, you definitely like deserve it. You've been playing great. And so she just like immediately went into the store and was like, we're buying this right here for you. Like you have to learn how to treat yourself to nice things. So she just straight up bought it for me, got my initials engraved on it. And it's a beautiful Naruto wallet. And so that's one of my essentials. I bring it everywhere I go. He needs about 10 more. <laughs> Cause he got like 10 player of the week. <laughs> uh, this is just a, you know, classic. Uh, Lewis wallet, Lewis, <laughs> Lewis wit. Uh, my, my girlfriend got this for me. She uh, she just thinks it's classic and that uh, I needed it. And she knows I like nice things. This is my wedding ring, which I bring everywhere as well. Designs that, that we put on there, my wife and I basically, they all stand for something different. My mom really, really, really does not want me to get a tattoo. We've like done tattoo art onto this entire ring. One of them is a voice memo. I love you in two different languages. There's other ones that represent, you know, there's certain things about scripture. Um, there's certain things about like what kind of family we wanna be. And so there's all different types of like, you know, what kind of parents or, or what kind of people we wanna be down the road. These are just reminders to us of, you know, the hills and the valleys and, and, and the, the mountaintops and, 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 and the struggles that we've been through. Um, and so it's always kind of more than anything, just a reminder of, who we want to be as people. Your wife embraces your unique life and loves you for who you are. So what makes you think that she's a one? I was not expecting this question. <laughs> I mean, she's just a very special person. She loves God a lot. Um, she has a huge heart. She's all about serving other people. Uh, makes me a better person. Next essential is our headphones. It says my gamer name, Joe Linsta, and then there's a ghost sign because my dog is named Ghost and he's a really cute husky. I just gotta have headphones with me everywhere I go. I think as basketball players or the basketball culture, we listen to a lot of music before games to help you get ready to get your mind off anything really and just to be able to focus on the games. Um, yeah, mine are more like, uh, you know, earbud types, but I can work out in these. Actually, I'll listen to music on the way to the game, but even when I warm up, I'll be listening to music, um, but sometimes we have a difference in, <laughs> in taste. Um, it'll be like seven in the morning, like just woke up, we'll be like lifting and it's like super loud hip hop in it. 
sometimes I just want to like, you know, wake up a little bit, have some little more low key. We just like to make fun of every time we lift and he always turns to the music and we're like, oh, DJ Jill Insta, we're back at the club. <laughs> All right, my essential is a necklace with my logo. This item right here means a lot to me for many, many reasons. One, this logo designed by my dad uh, when I was a rookie, JL7, you can see it, but it's two feet walking on water is the story of when Peter walks on water. But the other reason why is because this was given to me by Xtep and by Palladium. The first photo shoot I ever did with Joe was the Palladium shoot. So that was something that to me, I had never experienced before. Like we had done a lot of stuff. We've done, you know, events and fan events and we played against each other and we've done a lot of things together. We had never done a photo shoot. This is kind of a reminder to me of the first photo shoot I ever did with him. Um, and it's just a cool necklace. One of my essentials is a Nintendo Switch. I just game wherever I go. I just literally nonstop. <laughs> What's your, uh, what are your like top two or three games being shown? I mean, definitely Pokemon. Second one is probably Zelda. There's a new Zelda coming out that's May 12th. Amazing. And you will not find me when that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Mario Kart and Mario Party are really fun games too, because you can play with friends. There was one time though, when he like was getting to know my wife, my wife thought she was good at Mario Kart and they played Mario Kart for 45 minutes straight. He beat her every time. And it was like the funniest thing ever because she kept thinking like, oh, I might be able to beat Joe one time. That's my fault, uh, that's my fault. <laughs> I, shouldn't have, I, should, felt, I shouldn't have done that. You felt bad, like, are you sure you want to keep racing? And she's like, let's go one more. And it just like, it would just got ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous thing that you don't have a case. One of my essentials is my phone. You might be wondering why I don't have a case, but I like a sleek and, you know, slim. It's easy to hold. I think it looks nice as it is. It's a new thing that I've done recently. But I think phone's important because like your family, your loved ones, uh, you never know what's happening. So, and at least for us, like our basketball teams always have different things going on. So you always need to be up to date with news and what's going on with the team and stuff like that. Uh, who's the last person you pulled on the card? Last person would probably be my dad. He called me the Peter <laughs> Payton. This is one of my essentials. These are the Jalen 3s. Um, this is my favorite of all my signature shoes. Yeah, I, I just, this, like, when I was young, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna make the NBA or whatever. But you never even think about, like, I'm gonna have my own signature shoe. It was not even in the realm of, like, what we would think about. Um, so, I mean, it's incredible. It really is. I never thought that day would come, but um, now I'm on to my third signature shoe. And this colorway is my Sam Finishing colorway for every three-pointer I make. Um, I donate money to Erfuli Mall. Um, and so that's what this one is all about, this colorway and this shoe. My last essential is, is a book, Enough About Me, The Unexpected Power of Selflessness. Recently, with everything that's been going on, um, there's been a lot of spotlight around me. It's really easy to think that the world revolves around me or to kind of buy into the hype. And, you know, remembering that like, you know, life is the most purposeful when it's not about yourself. And so this is just a reminder to me, you know, Jesus always wants us to live for him and for others. Um, so that's why I chose this book specifically right now. Thanks for watching. These are our essentials. Listen Nation, we out.